velvet material. It looks very good in the interiors. That's why it's very often used in the visualization. It's time to create it once and for all. This is Monica from edac.org. Today I will show you how to create the highest quality velvet material. To do this, we need to create more advanced material. Follow my simple step-by-step -step instructions. I prepared the scene with the chairs. You can download this model from the link in the video description. Let's create a velvet material. I go to the asset editor and then create new assets, materials, generic. I will rename it to V-Ray Velvet. Firstly, let's focus on the diffuse tab. In the material library, which you can also download from the link in the description of the video, I prepared a map. Let's check it. This map is called Velvet Mix Map. Let's take a look. And this is our map. I will use it in the Diffuse tab. I switch to SketchUp and then in the Diffuse tab I will upload this texture. If you are creating a fabric texture, remember that the normal bitmap in the Diffuse tab will be not enough for this complex material. The best idea is to use Mix Map. That's why I click on the texture slot and choose Mix Map. Thanks to this, I can mix to textures or to colors according to the mix map texture. That's why I click on the texture slot in the mix map and upload the bitmap. I choose Velvet Mix Map and open it. As you can see, there is not enough contrast in this map. We can see white and light gray colors. I want to have more contrast in this texture. That's why I changed the color space from screen space to, to custom gamma curve. And then change the gamma value. If I increase this value, the texture is almost white. When I decrease this value, we have a contrast in this texture. I set the value 0 0.15. And as you can see, this texture looks much better. I select the previous asset and the mix map texture is uploaded. Now I can choose two colors or two textures. Let's take a look. I will set color top, for example, to red and color bottom to a blue color. And I have mix of red and blue colors according to the mix map. I want to create a brown velvet material. That's why I will change these colors. The color top will be light, almost gray color. I prepared such colors. That's why I changed the range to from 0 to 255. And I type in RGB color modes the values. For R, I type 203, G will be 183, and B 171. And we have a light, almost gray color. Okay, let's focus on the color bottom. And I also prepare the color for this. In R, I type in 163, in G, 119 and B 97 and we have light brown color. It's done. Now we have a mixture of two colors. I go to the previous asset and we can see in the preview that our sample has changed. I will change the preview to the fabric. That's why I click on these three vertical dots and change the preview from the generic to fabric. I think that this preview looks better for us. The diffuse tab is done. Now it's time to move on to the bump tab. I expand this tab and here I click on the texture slot. Using the bump tab, I want to obtain the depth of the surface. For the fabric material, the best map is cellular. It's here. 
In the preview, we can notice the white and black grains. The grayscale values determine the bumpiness of the texture. When we have a white areas, we have a push-ups, and the black areas are push-downs. I will change some values. I will decrease the size. For now, it's too large. To 0 0.001. Let's change the spread to 0 0.4 and we can notice that our BAM map looks like a sand, a noise. And I will change the colors. Color center will be black, color edge white and color background will be black. And we have a more contrast in the texture. Okay, it's done. I go to the previous asset. And now we can notice a change in the material. I will decrease the bump amount. For now it's too large. I will decrease it to 0 0.1. Okay, it's done. It's time to apply this material to the chair. Let's check what material is applied to the chair for now. That's why I click on the paint bucket, hold down on the keyboard and click on the chair. The generic material is applied to the chair. I will change it. That's why I right click on the generic material, select objects in scene, and now all objects with generic materials are selected. And now I right click on the V-Ray Velvet material and apply to selection. I wait a while and our new material is applied. Let's check if the material is mapped correctly. As we can see, everything looks fine. I would like to change the preview of this material on the model. That's why I go to the Asset Editor and scroll down to a Binding tab. I expand this tab and here we have Texture Mode. For now, it's Automatic Texture Mode. That's why we have this kind of preview. And I change that from Auto to custom mode. And here I can upload my own texture in the preview. I go to the diffuse tab, to the texture slot, and copy the texture from the mix map. I right click, copy, and then apply this texture to the texture in the binding tab. Right click, paste as copy or paste as instance. It's copied and we can see that we have a different preview in SketchUp. Now it's much easier to check if the material is mapped properly on the model. It's time to check the render. This is the result and we can see that this chair looks very good. We can see a texture, a shading and a velvet material. It works very fine, but I think that we can improve this texture even more. That's why I go to the Asset Editor again and then create a new layer. I click on the Add Layer icon and choose V-Ray Material. And now we have two V-Ray Materials, V-Ray Material and V-Ray Material 1. V-Ray Material 1 is a new gray material and V-Ray Material is our brown velvet material. I will change the position of V-Ray material. I want to have it at the top. And now we can notice that only V-Ray material is visible. Let's change it. I expand the V-Ray material tab and then go to the opacity. We can change the opacity of this material, for example, to 0 0.5, and we have 50% of transparency of our material. Let's see that we can change it. We can do it even better. That's why I click on the texture slot and choose fall off. It's here. Using a fall off map, in some places there will be more transparency of the material and in other places it will be less transparency. Let's take a look. I go to the previous asset and we can notice that now it looks much more realistic. In some places we have our brown velvet material 
and in other places we have a new gray material. It looks very cool. Let's focus on a new gray material. I go to the V-Ray material one and change the Fuse tab. I will copy textures from V-Ray Velvet material. I expand this, right click, copy, and paste it to V-Ray material one here in the Diffuse tab. Right click, paste as copy. I will do the same with Bump tab. I go to the V-Ray material, Bump, and copy this material. Right click, copy, and paste it to a different material. Right click and paste as copy. I will change the amount of the Bump tab to 0 0.1, and it's done. For now, V-Ray Material and V-Ray Material 1 are the same materials. That's why this opacity effect doesn't work. We need to change the colors of a new material to the darker one. That's why I go to the Diffuse tab, the Texture slot, and here I will change the colors. Let's click on the color top and change the values in RGB color modes. I prepared such colors. That's why I type in, in R115, G70, and B58. And we have a dark brown color. And let's change the color bottom. It will be almost black color. In R, I type in 32, G will be 22, and B19. And we have very dark brown, almost black color. And this texture looks different. And let's notice that the material has changed. Let's sum it up. In V-Ray Material, we have a lighter brown colors. And in V-Ray Material 1, we have a darker brown colors. We set up fall off map in the opacity. That's why in some places we have a lighter brown colors and in other places, darker brown colors. Let's check the effect. This is our new material, and we can compare this new material with the older one. On the left side, we have a newer material, and on the right side, the older one. And we can see the difference. I think that our new material looks much better, much more realistic. Remember that we can change these colors and thanks to it create a new realistic velvet material. Let's do this. I go to the V-Ray velvet material, then go to the V-Ray material and change the colors in the Diffuse tab. I click on the color top and change this color to almost gray texture. This is color top and the color bottom it will be a different texture, something like this. And then I go to the material one and also change this color. These colors will be darker. In color top, it will be something like this, a gray color. And in color bottom, a dark gray color. Okay. It's done. Let's take a look at this material. And this is our new gray velvet material, and it looks great. In this tutorial, we have created two very realistic velvet materials. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website, edac.org, with even more SketchUp courses. See you soon. Bye.